St. Louis is battling violence inside detention facilities, including a transitional living center for federal prisoners, which had a shooting in November. Now the oldest halfway house in America could soon be home to a very well-known convict. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes got an exclusive look inside. It doesn't matter who you are or how much influence you have, whether you committed a financial crime or a violent one, you'll stop here before you're free. The next big name who will likely come through here before freedom, former St. Louis County Executive Steve Stenger. Federal prisoners start out in a room like this. It looks like a military barracks with metal bunks. Personal belongings like televisions are stored on the beds with smaller valuables and lockers. The people who stay here are close to freedom. They're no longer called prisoners during their three to six month stay. Instead, they're clients working on finding jobs and homes. One of the clients later talked to me independently via Zoom from inside Dismas House. I've truly been shooken up. He says he had to watch someone die on the floor near him from what appeared to be a drug overdose. I'm supposed to be on a path of being able to go back into society and be this refreshed person. But yet I have all this weight and all this stuff on my shoulders. My whole purpose of this is not to down the distance house or, you know, anything like that. It is to say the next person that comes in can have it better than what I have. He said he was also in the same hallway when someone was injured in a shooting with another resident this past November. St. Louis police are investigating. Program director John House III was also nearby. It's surprising to all of us. We work very, very hard. Uh, to keep our staff and our clients safe. Unlike prison, there's no large metal detector or steel prison door. Clients leave for work during the day. Chief Operations Officer Anthony Arrington. We want to change their thinking altogether. We want them to understand that they are close to being released from prison, and this is an opportunity for them to uh, get themselves prepared to be out in the community. Former Missouri State Senator Jeff Smith wrote about Dismas House in his 2017 book, Mr. Smith Goes to Prison. After serving time for lying to the FBI about a campaign violation, Smith spent three weeks here. He called it the polar opposite of prison. Every day we see someone back in their home uh, being a father to their children. That, that, that's just an awesome feeling. He says their challenges inside mirror ours on the outside. He looks at his job as a way to impact both. I look at this as a great opportunity for me to help those in my community. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.